Hello YouTube class, welcome to My English Voice. Okay, if you haven't downloaded the worksheet already, go and do that. You'll find it at myenglishvoice.com and then come back here to start the listening lesson. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Hi, food, do it. I'm food, part Thai. From Thailand. The Pad Thai number one stir fry noodle in Thailand. Sometimes you can use chicken. We have noodle. Before dry one, you can soak with warm water allow 10 minutes. Easy when you cook. Cut peanut. Cut Now we cut tofu. Tofu, you can cut. Less onion. Easy when you have the prawn. I show for you take. You can squeeze in the head and squeeze here. The prawn head really good for the noodle hair color. Take the food out. Less onion in. Stir fry less onion to smell. Make corn later again. You have a look, the corn head have beautiful color. The corn not cook too long time. The rice noodle cook allow one to two minutes. And then two spoon fish sauce. Sugar. Thai people in Bangkok love sweet. And then you don't like sweet too much, you can add a little bit. Sweet ready in. Now one tablespoon. And then I use water for cooking. Until cooked noodle. How you know the noodle already, you can use Long handle, check the noodle. The noodle sticky, not yet cook. Allow few minutes, and then the egg in. The egg you can cook outside in the fry pan. Someone no understand? Put in the egg. Mix together now sticky, not beautiful. Looking for the egg dye, mix everything now. Spin onion. And then, bean sprout. Someone love country, cook a little bit. Someone love soft bean sprout, cook is long time. And then you can add sugar, tiny. And chili powder. Be careful, not add a lot, a little bit. Speed lamb. And mix everything. Really yummy. Okay, so this week's lesson involves a dictation exercise. That means listening really carefully to one or two sentences and writing down every word that you hear. There should be space on your worksheet to do that. Okay, I'll pay it twice. Are you ready? Let's go. Easy when you have the prawn. I show for you take. You can squeeze in the head and squeeze 
เียเดี๋ยวพรเฮด very good for the neutral half color easy when you have the prawn I show for you take you can squeeze in the head and squeeze here the prawn head really good for the neutral half color okay so now it's time for the international English pronunciation focus I'm going to play just a short extract from the video you need to listen really carefully and just focus on the sounds then try repeating exactly the same thing and then compare your pronunciation with the speaker's pronunciation. Remember that we all have different accents and different does not necessarily mean better or worse but if you can notice differences this would help you next time you speak to somebody with that same accent. This is especially important if you know, if you know that you're going to speak to people with this accent and you know that this is not a familiar accent to you. The more you listen to different accents, the easier they will be to understand. If you want more help understanding what to focus on, you can download the pronunciation guide at myenglishvoice.com. Okay, are you ready to listen? Don't forget, listen, repeat, notice and reflect. Let's go! Sometimes you can use chicken. We have noodle. Before dry one, you can soak with warm water allow 10 minutes. Easy when you cook. Okay, so that's it for this week's lesson. Thanks for watching. Remember, we have lots of other categories on the website, myenglishvoice.com. You can leave your answer to the discussion question in the comments box below. Um, or you can join our weekly listening lesson feedback. That's free. It's a YouTube live broadcast. You can type your answers into the chat box to connect with people from all over the world. Um, I also have the speaking weekly lessons as well on YouTube. Um, these you do have to pay for, but it's just the price of a cup of coffee. So hopefully everybody can afford to join us for that. For more information, check out the details at My English Voice. Com. Most importantly, don't forget to share your English voice with my English voice. Mm -hmm.